Congress set to adjourn for a five-week recess without an immigration deal. But one Democrat and Republican can agree on at least one thing. We should not have traded terrorists for Bo Bergdahl a couple of months ago. Those congressmen join us right now. John Barrow, uh, Barrow a, a Democrat from Georgia, and Scott Rigel, a Republican from Virginia. What brought you guys together? What bothered you about this deal? Well, Brian, the facts are not in dispute. The president broke the law when he transferred the five senior Taliban commanders uh, to the government of uh, Qatar. And to prevent that from becoming a uh, precedent that either he or other future administrations uh, could rely upon, we thought it was important to put this, uh, this legal marker in the ground and to repudiate, condemn uh, clearly what the president did. Well, Congressman, what bothers you uh, about the deal that it was bad deal lopsided for the Taliban or that, no, it, it, that it went down without your permission? Both. Both. It's, it's not good for national security. Mohammed Fossil is the deputy uh, minister of defense for the Taliban. I'm confident, Brian, and it troubles me that, to, to share this, that uh, probably in a year or so he'll be back on the battlefield when we will still in all likelihood have American forces in Afghanistan. So this is not, uh, uh, that's not wise. And then this important balance of powers uh, uh, situation here where the president right. is consistently going outside of his constitutional lane and, and ignoring the law. Congressman Barrow, uh, in particular, this deal, they're supposed to tell you within 30 days of the deal going down, 30 days ahead of the deal. How does the law read? Well, both Scott and I were concerned and, and objected to the whole violation of our longstanding policy not to negotiate with terrorists in the first instance. We were, we were concerned about that from the get-go. But the thing that concerns us is the specific subject of this resolution is the failure to comply with the provision of the law that both Congress and the President agreed to, that before there'd be any release of detainees from, uh, from Guantanamo, there'd be a consultation with Congress beforehand. Right. You know, checks and balances are important. It's important so that both branches of government can get the best advice from the other when they have some shared responsibility. And both branches, right. in this case, agreed on the process to be followed and this prior is, consultation. And this is more than... Uh, this is more than uh, uh, window dressing. There's a whole bunch of uh, oh, other terrorists at, uh, at Gitmo that could be out tomorrow without us knowing about it. You know, uh, the president and, and President Bush actually released about 500 uh, detainees from Guantanamo and did so legally. But in this case, when the Secretary of Defense came before the House Armed Services Committee on June 11th, he really had no answer as to why the administration had like 80 or 90 members of the administration that were aware of this, but not one member of right. Congress. Senator Feinstein hammered this, and Brian, it's more than some to recheck off the box, th there is a series of things that the administration has to give to Congress to assure that uh, American security is not going in the wrong direction. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened here. And this is a serious matter. I appreciate Mr. Barrow standing with me uh, in this. It's a bipartisan effort. It's not personal to the president, but we've got to, to stop what the president yeah. is doing. When I go home to Virginia, too, people are saying, Scott, what are you doing about it? And this is a practical step and expression of, of uh, responding to the president. Guys, thanks so much uh, for coming together, at least on this issue. And it hearts me to imagine if Secretary of Defense Gates was in power that this would have happened. Just my opinion. Congressman Barrow, Congressman Rigel, uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.